What colors does your cat really see the world in? Have you ever looked into your cat's eyes and wondered, what does the world look like to you? That soft gaze, those blinking, mysterious pupils. It's as if they're seeing something entirely different, something just out of our human reach. And here's the truth, they are. Today, you're about to see the world through your cat's eyes, literally because the colors, shapes, and movement that define your world don't look the same at all to your feline companion. And once you understand how your cat really sees you, your home, and even their toys, it will forever change the way you see them. But before we dive into this incredible discovery, do something small that makes a big difference. Tap that like button and subscribe. Not for the channel, for your cat. Because by understanding them better, you're not just being a good pet owner, you're becoming their best friend. And if you care enough to wonder how they see the world, you won't hesitate to support content made with that same care. All right, ready to change how you see your cat by learning how they see you? Let's begin. So here's the most common myth about cats. They see in black and white, totally false. In fact, your cat sees a world full of color, just not the same colors you see. To understand this, let's look at how human vision works first. Our eyes have two main types of photoreceptor cells, rods and cones. Rods help us see in low light. Cones detect color. Humans have three types of cones, red, green, blue. That's why we're called trichromats. It gives us the ability to see a wide range of colors, including warm tones like pink, orange, and vibrant red. Now here's where it gets fascinating. Cats only have two types of cones, blue and green, which means they're dichromats, kind of like a human with red-green color blindness. To your cat, the color red almost doesn't exist. That bright red laser pointer? It's not red to them. It's a dull, moving grayish blob. That cherry-colored blanket? just another shade of brown or dark gray. And that vibrant toy you thought would catch their eye? It might be totally invisible to their color world, but don't feel sorry for them, because what cats lack in color perception, they more than make up for in other ways. Their eyes were designed for something very different, not to admire sunsets or paintings, but to survive hunt and sense motion with surgical precision. And that's exactly what evolution gave them. Cats have way more rod cells than we do, especially in the outer parts of their retina. That means they're absolute masters of night vision. While we stumble in the dark, your cat glides through the shadows as if they're glowing. They see six to eight times better in low light than we do. Why? Because their world wasn't designed for color. It was designed for movement, silence, and stealth. Think about it. Your cat's ancestors hunted at dawn and dusk, twilight hours when color doesn't matter, but detecting the flicker of movement across a field could mean the difference between dinner and hunger. Their eyes became fine-tuned not for brightness, but for subtlety. So while you're admiring the colors of a butterfly in the garden, your cat is already crouched and tracking the faintest twitch of its wings. And here's another twist. Their pupils can open three times larger than ours, letting in much more light. That's why they look like mysterious black pools at night. Their eyes are soaking up every photon they can find. But even more interesting than how cats see is how they perceive. Because when you wave that red feather toy in front of them and they chase it like it's the most thrilling thing they've ever seen, they're not seeing the color at all. They're seeing contrast. They're seeing motion. They're seeing something instinct tells them to catch. Which brings us to one of the strangest cat owner moments. You flash a laser pointer across the floor. Your cat pounces, completely obsessed. But wait, if they can't see red, what exactly are they chasing? What if I told you that to your cat, that red dot doesn't even look like a dot? And yet, it might be triggering something ancient and primal buried deep inside their brain, something even more powerful than color itself. The science behind cat vision 
explained simply. So if cats don't rely on color the way we do, what do they rely on? Let's go a little deeper into the science, but don't worry, we'll keep it clear, fun, and absolutely mind-blowing. Remember how we talked about cones and rods in the retina? Well, here's the simple breakdown again. Cones from the color rods, re motion, and night vision. Cats have far fewer cones than humans, and only two types, one for blue and one for green. That's it. No red, no orange, no deep pinks. So imagine their world like a slightly faded version of ours, like the contrast on your TV is turned down and the warm tones have been drained away. It's not black and white, it's just muted. Colors still exist, but in a narrower palette, mostly blue, gray, and greenish-yellow tones. Now here's where it gets fun. Scientists have recreated images to simulate what the world might look like to a cat. When they compared side-by-side -side visuals of a colorful garden or a vibrant room, the cat version looked foggier, flatter, less saturated. But when they tested a room in motion, like a toy mouse skittering across the floor or a curtain swaying in the wind, the cat version became more alive. Because rods, and cats have lots of them, are motion detectors. Where we see pretty color, cats see action. And it gets even cooler. Cats have a wider field of vision than we do. While humans have about 180 degrees, cats reach around 200 degrees. That means your cat sees more of the room around them without moving their head. Combine that with motion sensitivity and superior night vision, and you have a creature who sees the world like a silent hunter, not an artist. But wait, what about that infamous red laser pointer? Here's the secret. Your cat doesn't actually see it as red. To them, it probably looks like a bright gray or white glow darting across the floor. Not because of its color, but because of its contrast against the background and because it's moving fast. Their brain isn't going, ooh, red dot. It's going, alert, something tiny just moved. Must catch it now. Even though the dot has no smell, no sound, and no real prey qualities, that rapid, unpredictable motion triggers the same part of their brain that's wired for survival, the hunting drive. Which brings us to something fascinating that few cat owners realize. Cats may not care much about what color a toy is, but they deeply care about how it moves, how it flickers, how it mimics prey. So those ultra-colorful rainbow toys in pet stores? They might be made for your eyes, not your cats. What works better? Toys with high contrast, dark against light. Objects that flutter, flick, dart, or stop, unpredictably movement patterns that feel alive to their senses. Even the environment you live in, the sunlight patterns on the floor, the rustling of blinds, the way your shadow shifts, creates an invisible playground for your cat's eyes. But here's something more personal. If your cat sees fewer colors than you, how do they recognize you? They don't exactly know your favorite shirt is red. They're not impressed by the design on your socks. They might not even notice the new wall color you painted last week. And yet, they never fail to know exactly who you are. So how? Well, that answer lies far beyond color, and it's about to bring us even closer to understanding how cats feel. Because if your cat doesn't use color to recognize you, then what exactly are they seeing? And why does it make their connection with you even deeper than we thought? If not by color, how do cats recognize you? Imagine this. You walk into a room. You've changed clothes. You got a haircut. You even switched your perfume. And yet your cat looks up from the couch and instantly knows it's you. Not just with recognition, with comfort, with trust. They blink slowly, stretch lazily, and maybe even let out a quiet little trill that only you ever hear. But how? If cats can't rely on the vibrant colors of your shirt or the red collar of their favorite toy, what's left? Everything else that matters. Cats are masters of pattern recognition, not visual patterns like shapes on wallpaper, but the subtle ones, 
how you move, the sound of your footsteps, the rhythm of your breathing, your scent, the way your energy feels when you walk into a room. In fact, to your cat, you are more of a symphony of signals than a colorful image. It's not the color of your eyes they recognize. It's the way you glance sideways just before you smile, not the tone of your voice, but the way you say their name, like no one else does. Studies have shown that cats can distinguish their human's voice from others, even if you're not calling them directly. They turn their ears, flick their tails, subtly shift their attention. It's not loud, it's not dramatic, it's personal. And it means that even in a world where colors are dulled, your presence shines. Let's talk about toys again for a second. Have you ever noticed your cat picks one toy, maybe an old crumpled mouse, and ignores all the shiny new ones? That's because it's not about appearance. That old toy smells like them. It feels familiar. It behaves in a way that connects to their instincts. The color might be meaningless, but the texture, the weight, the memories stored in it are everything. Now flip that logic. To your cat, you are that toy in the best possible way. You are the thing that smells like home. You move predictably in unpredictable ways. You feed them, comfort them, talk to them, play with them, sleep near them. They've memorized your energy, your schedule, your sounds. And color has nothing to do with that. In fact, some scientists believe that the limited color range in feline vision actually amplifies their focus on non-visual bonds. Where humans are often distracted by surface beauty, cats look deeper. They don't love you because you're wearing a nice outfit. They love you because of how you make them feel. There's something profoundly beautiful about that, isn't there? So let's shift the question again. If cats can't recognize you by color, what does that say about how they experience love? It means their affection isn't surface level. It's contextual, intuitive, emotional. When your cat curls up beside you, it's not because they recognize your face like a photograph. It's because your presence makes them feel safe. It's because your smell and warmth mean everything is okay. It's because they've stored you, not in their eyes, but in their body memory. Think about that. Your cat sees a world that's less colorful, but more connected. They rely on consistency, on energy, on instinct, and in that instinct, you are more than a visual object. You are a center of gravity in their universe, and the beauty is. This bond doesn't depend on how much they see. It depends on how much they trust. This is why cats follow us from room to room, not always because they're curious, but because your presence is a part of their environment. You're like the sunbeam they love to nap in, a steady, familiar glow. And in a world that looks different than ours, that feels different than ours, your role is more than just owner. You are an anchor. But that brings us to the most curious part of all. If a cat's world is shaped more by contrast, movement, and emotional familiarity than color, then what would your house, your backyard, your world, actually look like through their eyes. Because thanks to scientists and some remarkable technology, we now have real visual simulations of what the world looks like to a cat. And trust me, it's not what you're imagining. The world through cat eyes, a reality you've never seen before. You walk into your living room. To you, it's just a room. Colorful cushions, a warm lamp glow, a red throw blanket, maybe a plant by the window. But to your cat, it's an entirely different world. Thanks to visual simulations developed by animal vision researchers, we now have a glimpse, a real scientifically accurate representation of what a typical indoor space looks like to a cat. And it's almost like watching life through a soft dream filter. Vivid reds, muted to a dull gray, bright yellows, shifted into soft greens. Those vibrant rainbow toys, Many appear flat or indistinct, but then something moves, a flicker of a shadow, a tiny twitch of the curtain, the tiniest vibration of a string on the floor. Suddenly, the world comes alive, because to a cat, motion is everything. Their environment may look less colorful, but it's far more interactive, 
almost alive in the way it responds to the subtlest shifts of air and sound. And that includes you. Your movement, the way you reach for a snack, stretch your arms, adjust a pillow, creates a visual ripple that's much more noticeable to them than your outfit's color or your room's paint job. Even light behaves differently in their world. Cats have a reflective layer behind their retinas called the tapetum lucidum. This is what gives them that glowing eye effect in the dark, but it also allows them to amplify any available light. So that dim, barely lit hallway? To your cat, it's bathed in clarity. Where you'd trip over furniture, they move with grace. They're also wired to detect fast movement much better than still images. It's why they don't respond to stationary objects as much, but they'll chase a flicker across the floor like their life depends on it. This all brings us back to a powerful truth. Cats evolved as predators, solitary, careful, patient, and their vision reflects that. They don't need to see a rainbow to survive. They need to sense the flick of a tail, the scurry of prey, the shift in environment. And when they look at you, they don't need full color vision to recognize love because your cat's world isn't defined by what you think is important. It's shaped by trust, by rhythm, by presence. In their mind, you are a familiar silhouette that smells like warmth. You are a voice that brings comfort, a pattern of movement that never fails to deliver food, care, affection, or peace. And that's the most touching part of all. Your cat doesn't love you because of what you look like. They love you because of how you make them feel. And that goes far deeper than sight. So next time your cat gazes at you silently or follows you into a room or blinks slowly before curling up beside you, remember this. They may not see your world the way you do, but they've chosen you as the one thing they always want to be near, no matter what it looks like. And maybe, just maybe, that's the most beautiful vision of all. If this changed how you see your cat, or how your cat sees you, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. Not for the algorithm, not even for us, but for the bond you're building. One blink, one paw step, one heartbeat at a time. Because the more we understand them, the more they trust us back.